Mark Twain said, there are only two days that really matter in someone's life, the day that they were born and the day they figure out why. For the last 15 years of my life, I've wanted to set up a company. Like 15 years is a long time. Right after high school, I was a chef and I opened a restaurant uh, that promptly failed. I was at McKinsey for four and a half years. Along the way, I realized that it didn't motivate me to get up, be excited about going to work. I decided to go back to college. I fell in love with biochemistry, with biology, and went on to initially become an academic. The stars didn't align until just two years ago. And when they did, it was a, a great moment in my life because I could finally quit my job. When I first left my very comfortable job, I gave myself six months to start to have a salary. I didn't have any money in the company to pay a salary. I didn't have any investors that, that could support me. I was on food stamps for a little while. I went without a paycheck for two years. It was a cliff that I jumped off. <laughs> Entrepreneurs are asked to walk on water, but they actually have to walk through walls. You need the right people. You need the right idea. It needs to be the right time. The hardest part is actually money. It's all chicken and an egg. If I have money, I can get the team. If I have the team, I can get money. What do I get first? How do you pay for everything? How do you do the studies that the Food and Drug Administration require you to do, and at the end of the day, make money for investors? If you want to be an entrepreneur, find someone who's done it before. It's important to talk to other people and run your idea by other people because everybody's perspective is going to help you build a better concept. Align yourself with people who have been successful entrepreneurs. This is an apprenticeship. There's a lot of opportunity for people who want to change the world. We said to ourselves, some idiot is going to do this and make a lot of money off of it. And we could be those idiots. I could speak to you for 20 minutes on how fun it is to quit your job. You could be a great surfer and you can go out on a small day and you're not going to get a great ride. But if you go out at the right time and you pick the right wave, then you know, there's an opportunity to do great things. We started our company literally in a garage. And uh, JLEBS has been you know, a huge accelerator for us, both in terms of access to equipment, as well as people and other resources. They had all of that infrastructure in place, so we could just focus on the science. And as an entrepreneur, that's your job. Your job is take the science and turn it into products as fast as you possibly can. And in that sense, you know, JLabs is providing a great benefit to the ecosystem around the world. It takes a village to raise a company. Uh, and I view the team in the most abstract senses. Johnson & Johnson Innovation Center and JLabs, we've had a lot of interactions with many of those folks there. And all of them been amazingly positive and really helping us navigate to where we um, where we need to go and, and where we're going. There does appear to be really nice cross-communication between all of these different um, organizations within this mother Johnson & Johnson and I think it's really hard in a large company to have that kind of communication. I mean I've been in small companies where people didn't even know what the guy next to them is working on so I've been pretty impressed by that. Two years ago we, we began operations at Janssen Labs, now uh, J Labs, uh, and we're very glad that we did because uh, while there uh, we were able to accelerate our innovation. Uh, it was there at JLabs that we discovered our delivery technology. And the reason we were able to do so is we had all the right equipment. Uh, we had a small team, but the right team, the right people, and we were in the right place to help uh, execute on these great ideas.